unorganized, unorganized. Eh. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a panning games update and this is really exciting because I have two empties. It's really going by fast now. I don't have a lot left because we started out with 24 items and I have One, two, three, four, five. six items left. Wow. This project was created by Amber. I will have her link down below plus the master list of everyone that is in this project because this is a collab with the Fantastic Ladies on Facebook. You know I love that group. I am a moderator of that group so I kind of have to love it, you know. <laughs> I'm just really really excited about this project. I didn't really know what I was doing but I'm really really excited to uh, have done this project because I have gone through so so many items and so many items that I didn't think I was going to use up and stuff like that. This project is based on the Hunger Games. I'm just a mess today, so sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is based on the Hunger Games. If you didn't know, the trilogy. So we picked 24 items that was corresponding to the 24 tributes from the 12, 12 districts. I realized lately that I, I my English is not that good <laughs> and I, I mumble a lot, so sorry if that annoys you. I'm so annoyed at myself when I edit my videos because it's just a mess. So, itching. Let me stop rambling and just show you the products now because I think it has been a few minutes. So if you saw my empties video last week, maybe on Friday, I think this is going up on Monday, then you would know that I finished the serum. Oh. I'm so excited. <laughs> Again, I, I feel so silly about being excited to finish this off, but this has been a struggle to use. I realized I really don't like the item. It's fine. It gives a nice glow and all, but it doesn't do anything for your skin. This is the W7 Glow It All Multi Glow Serum. This has a blue tint to it, so it has a nice shine and all. It's a serum. Maybe. Does it do anything for your skin? No. <laughs> Is it a hassle to use? Yes, because it gets all over and then you have a blue tint on your hands and you need to wash your hands after this. And no, I did not multitask this within my moisturizers and body lotions and stuff like that. I used it as a morning time serum. So yeah, it looks pretty decent. It has a dropper and stuff like that and I used up that much in two weeks yes two weeks not a month so that was really exciting i had to pull it out because the dropper didn't reach the last bit so i'm just happy that i can toss that item i finished this today when i did my makeup and then i was just like there's no more powder <laughs> wow <laughs> i need to use another powder tomorrow which is so exciting because i have used this every time i did my makeup since beginning of August, this powder has changed my vision on loose powders. I have grown to like them, not love them, like them. So they are not horrible anymore. This is the W7 Set It Up Special FX Finishing Powder. So it kind of blurs out your skin foundation. Again, it's a finishing powder. It is in the words. I have the pressed version of this so if I like that I can just use that and not the loose one so that's exciting let me show you where I was last time this is amazing progress to me I used this portion down here in a month that's exciting okay I have not used this once uh, this month because I was planning on using up this uh, body butter uh, from my 19 and 19 so I could decan another body lotion into this and put this in so that is my plan after this video to do that or maybe later today when I get home from work I'm right there so that is realistic to use this up by uh, August again so I don't have a problem I uh, going through this I just need to decan this with the body lotion because I used I used all of that with my foundation but it doesn't mix well with the foundation I'm using now so now I knew <laughs> have to find another way to use it. My next 
soft matte lip cream in can. I took the stopper out a few months ago and I thought, oh, this is going by quickly. Mm, no. And then this month I thought, oh, well, it's not applying really nicely anymore. It's a little bit patchy. So let me just stir around to just see how much product I have left. It turns out there was a massive amount around the side. So this is not done. No, not even close. My Essence Eye Primer thing you can't see anymore. I'm I'm a little bit below that line. Can you see there? So, um, yeah. I still use this every single day. So it's not going down very well. It's kind of on the side. So it has a big dip in the middle. Because I did take up the stopper last time. So it's completely clear around the edges. And now I just get a little bit on the tip. As you can see there. Every single day. So... I have considered calling it done because I really want to use something else but at the same time the panel in me want to take my beauty spatula and try to get the last bit out. Maybe I'm insane. I have really no idea but I really want to finish it completely and I think I can do it by August. I just need to take my time to use a spatula which is a little bit of a hassle but maybe I can depart this in and hopefully it won't dry out. That, that's my concern if this will dry out if I decan it or depot it. Let's take this. This is my L'Oreal Infallible Pressed Pigment Eyeshadow Thingy Thingy in Magnetic Core. This one right here. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's fake pan. As you know, this is a pigment. It is a coal pigment. I have it underneath a champagne shade. This is a lazy look for me today, so I spiced it up with a red lip. I scraped out enough to have pan and a massive dip so it would be yeah it's kind of a fake pan because it scraped it out but i will explain don't really love this as an eyeshadow because it is satin finish i really like it laying underneath the champagne shade from my uh, single ladies and my man man because it was a satin finish and a cool uh, light orangey shade i thought it would look good as a blush in the summertime so in my mind, I thought maybe I can repress it and then I was like, it's a pigment, so maybe it, I need jojoba oil or something. So I bought that. Yeah, extra. Padding crazy mind. So, because I frankened my blush, no, my bronzer and my highlighter in this first palette, I have two empty pans in this because I frankened them in something else. I haven't repressed it yet, but I have this product that I scraped out of the packaging or the product thingy I put into this pan. So my plan is for next update to have this repressed, have taken a picture of it. Let's see how I can do it because uh, maybe it will look good as a blush because it has some pink uh, shift to it sometimes and this orangey coal thing that it would maybe look pretty. So I will try that as a blush and if it fails it's okay, because there are insanely uh, much product in this. It is 3.5 grams. So. Um, and I really want to try it as a blush. I have tons of blush, but I really want to try, you know. That's my plan with this one. I have two items left, and that is the two items on my sheet of paper. Not amazing progress. So, I have my eBay lip liner. Yes, this is still big. Oh, and there's hair on it. It lives in my purse. And that is a bad idea because then I don't use it in the morning time. I sometimes use it to reapply, but I just realized it should not live in my purse because I just don't reapply with it because I already have something on my lips and then I reapply and then I... It, Mm, and then I forget it. So I have it on tape. I'm not going to put this back in my purse. I'm not. I have been working on that lip liner since August and I haven't finished it yet. It's so annoying. I have my highlighting stick. My W7 Strobe and Go Strobing Stick. S slow and steady uh, progress. I have the same amount of progress every single month, which is fine. Roll down to the plastic. This is everything that I have left, which is not a lot. It isn't. And overall in this project, I have used up ton of product. 
which is so so exciting but if you see how much progress I make every month um, um, this is the lip liner progress yeah not a lot and this is the highlighting stick so I am right there that is the progress and overall I have used up so much product and I'm still not amazed about the amount of product progress I am using every month but yeah I use it here I have not used it on my temples that's the word temples today because I am breaking out on either side so I will see if it is this one or my skin tonic that is breaking me out I just started using my skin tonic again and I get breakout so I'm trying to stay away from that again so, yeah that's my life breaking out all the time and <laughs> Sometimes I just want to reset everything and just start out with completely new products So I don't have to think about is this breaking me out? Is this breaking me out? Is this breaking me out? Just reset But I have not found a skincare routine or products that works completely for me. So that's just a struggle Okay, I'm sorry that was ending on a bad note, but that is everything for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. And until my next video, I really hope you take care. And I will have the other updates linked down below, um, as well as the ladies in this club. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and until my next update, please take care. Bye.